Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. We will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters? Hmm, that does have a nice ring to it. Anyways, as for what was on last night... I saw it too! Couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? So that's how I looked on TV. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean... he isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then... No, that's not what I meant. Nothing happened to me while my image on TV was fuzzy, right? If that still holds true for this person, I don't think he's been kidnapped yet. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah, and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. Well, that means if my deductions are correct, though the image was hard to make out and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That's exactly what we just said. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Chie. <laughs> oh no! My funny bone! <laughs> Not again. Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. <laughs> when are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. You're back. Too. I knew I saw him somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. 
All right. So we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. So, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Don't you think? Well, I kind of understand. They're great girls, but you saw their ugly sides right off, and I guess your first impression is the one that sticks. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me, okay? See you tomorrow. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanjikun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What's up with him, weirdo? Uh -huh. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Well, quick, hide! You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. D 
Tomorrow's fine with me, huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. D did, he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? TV last night was definitely Kanjikun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano, but it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Whoa, I hadn't thought about that. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family's store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother-issued rations in hand. Current status, in the bathroom, fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. Keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. What, what in the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that. How should we split the teams? Sure, that's 
fine with me. Oh, man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. All right. We'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go. I wonder if those two will be all right. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So, shall we? <laughs> Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? Do you think the culprit... Then we need to keep our eyes open. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. Okay, if you want. Can't always answer since I help out around the inn, but feel free to call any time. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I, I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're, we're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! Say what you think. Y you got it all wrong. Hey, are you listening, damn it? It seriously ain't like that. We regret to inform that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Well... 
Let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, but damn it! Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! <laughs> oh, too much running. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Oh! Welcome home, big bro! for Bad Bad Bathhouse. Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Hmm. 
first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things. But when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night. No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Huh. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? <laughs> no doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, wait a sec. I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. Oh, eh, eh. Wait. So if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! Guys, first we save Kanji, then we crush the killer. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it? <laughs> Chie, those last two were the same thing. Uh, I know. Hey, Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about Kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji-kun personally? 